Ladies and the boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another advent calendar. Today, I'm in cloudy but lovely San Antonio, Texas. In the uh, back of my hotel here, don't want to look that way too much because I'm pretty sure there's a window or two you shouldn't be looking into. Otherwise, I mean, this is a nice little, I mean, I could sit down, relax on these guys here. They say right here, just sit down here. Relax and enjoy the weather. And trust me, as a someone from Arizona, I am thoroughly enjoying this cloudiness. Uh, it's gonna be sunny when I get home, but the weather is nice this time of year back home. Anyways, on to what's over here. Today, for my advent calendar, actually one of the days I'm kind of been looking forward to. Hold on, let me uh, tilt you down. About there, I think we we'll probably do. Catching Fire, cinnamon flavored whiskey. Now, at the store where I bought all this stuff, uh, it was Wine and More. It's the same as Bevmo, if you guys know any of those. It's essentially a. Hello, surprise! Yeah, I was surprised too. So, what we are looking at now are two things that failed me, which is why we are here. So, the video, what you are watching, I believe I stopped at the point where I was talking about Bevmo and. Catching Fire, where I found it and how they're pushing that product. It's a giant uh, store the size of uh, Best Buy that sells liquor. Anyways, let me finish that thought first. So, what happened, and let me just, ha okay, one thing at a time. What happened was, I drank, everything was fine. So the Catching Fire whiskey, which is over here. Lovely carpet, woo, makes you sick, doesn't it? Anyways, so. This stuff, which I drink, which was delicious. I mean, utterly delicious. Smooth is what it was. Great. It was, um, I described it when I drank it uh, as, you know those little red hots that they have around Christmas that sell up? Anyways, uh, that usually part of like decorations and stuff. Anyways, little cinnamon red hots, candies. That, it was candy cinnamon sweet. I mean, it just went down smoothly, is what it was. So, why aren't you seeing that and only seeing half the video? This guy disappointed me. So what happened? I finished recording, hit, you know, stop, all the usual stuff. And it, um, the Wi-Fi wouldn't shut off for some reason, which I found suspicious. Anyways, I eventually pulled the battery. Oh, it's about dead. Anyways, I need to charge it. Uh, throw it against the fucking wall. Uh, excuse me, I'll tell you what I really feel about it later. <laughs> no. It, I got it back, it got corrupted. The thing was corrupted. It didn't shut off perfectly. It's done this before, where it shuts down, stopped recording perfectly, but because the thing itself didn't shut down for some unbeknownst reason, the file got corrupted. So, was it? On the, um, Zombie Run video, I found out this thing cannot record in 1080. It has to be 720. If it records in 1080, it records for about five seconds, freaks out, shuts down. So yeah, a lot of issues. I would love to get the new one. If I could get a new one, I would throw that one against, actually I would hit it with a baseball bat. On to what disappointed me number two. I recorded a quick little video right afterwards using my phone saying, oh, here's what happened, sorry, and angrily talked about that. This right here, is my second micro SD card that I use in this phone right here. It's now useless. I mean, utterly, completely. See, it's less satisfying when it's something that small. You don't even hear a thunk. Don't even know if it hit a wall. As a matter of fact, I think it's right there next to the pillow. It's useless because something happened to this, caused it to corrupt to such a way I can't even reformat it anymore. And that's the second time this happened with this phone. Oh, what am I going to do? Sorry, I keep pointing you at nothing. Anyways, so, that's why we're here. That's why I'm talking to you in this way. Otherwise, let me get back to the Advent calendar part. The whiskey was delicious. That uh, cinnamon whiskey, very smooth. It had less alcohol than, I think, Fireball. And it showed it. Went down very smooth, kind of candy sweet is what it was. Uh, I need to get me another, that's a 32 gigabyte thing that cost me money, grumble, grumble, grumble. Anyways, so yeah, enough of that anger and 
it's happy. It's the time of the year for joy and peace. I mean, it's still beautiful out there. So, oh well. I guess I should end it here and not go on to today's Advent Calendar game. Because again, that's what it's about. Holiday cheer, happiness. Who cares? Let it go. Let it go! Turn around and face the... Anyways, let's just go to the game before it gets ugly. <laughs> let's try this again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to today's Advent Calendar. Took my shot of alcohol today, then. Let's look at today's quick game from GameWeek.com. Hella Hover. Hella Yeah. Uh, collect the presents and spike dislike. By the way, something I noticed. Listen to this. Like the little... Anyways, musical thing there. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, I can move with the joystick. He naturally falls. Okay, cool. And we instantly killed ourselves. Anyways, so... Oh, I go up. Okay, I see. Oh, I see. I see now. Alright, let's just forget that present. Susie wasn't that good of a girl. Bobby's also gonna not get a present. Let's see if I could help out. Stan, you bastard. Alright. Oh, by the way, I should just use the D-pad. There we go. Yeah, I should use either D-pad or analog down, down, down. Ooh. Nice. Anyways, so yeah, I shouldn't be flying with uh, as much alcohol as I get. Again, trying a different alcohol each day. Uh, sh no, no, don't make it more difficult than it needs to be. Let's just. I can't go back down. Ah, oh, I didn't. Ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. What happens if I just go straight up? Okay, won't make it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go down here. Grab. That little Billy will have his, uh, oh, oh, oh Billy, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, how's your Christmas going so far? Still have you bought any presents yet? <laughs> Actually, fun little, I should, again, viewer interaction, I guess. What was your guys' favorite present in Christmas? What do you remember the most getting from Santa or parent? Or, yeah, well, yeah, let's go with that one for today. So, what was most memorable gift you got during Christmas? From Santa or, pres from, a, or from a parent? Or a family member, for that matter. What was it? One Christmas. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo, down, down. Uh, let's see. Well, Christmas was always up until me and my brother was old enough to g earn our own money. Which was eight and nine, by the way, <laughs> something like that. Anyways, uh, we tend to, oh shite, uh, we got consoles usually around pres uh, uh, Christmas. So say, ooh, okay, uh, let's go this way. Uh, the Nintendo, the first NES, the Atari, stuff like that. We got during the uh, Christmas holiday. As a matter of fact, the um, first, ooh, no when we first got Nintendo and again we weren't all that well off so we usually got consoles towards the end of the cycle so by the time we got say like the Sega Genesis Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles was already out or was it Sonic 2 and Sonic Knuckles anyways um, but when we got the NES we didn't get Duck Hunt with it uh, we got Duck Hunt slash I want to say Beach Volleyball was the combo game. Wow, that knocked me into space. And I remember that first night, mom had to give us a be in bed by two o'clock or one o'clock, whatever, or Santa won't come type thing, because we were playing games all night. Again, we had that game that came with the system. Also, because my brother was a big horror film fan at the time, we got Nightmare Bef no, uh, it was either Nightmare Before, no, um, excuse me, Nightmare on Elm Street, or was it Friday the 13th? I think it was Nightmare on Elm Street. Anyways, one of those cheap movie tie-in games that really didn't have to anything to do with, you know, the actual scary movie it was in. Far less boobs, also. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, what was your... Actually, that would be a side question. What was your most memorable present that you remember getting from whoever... And how about video game wise? What was your most? Did you ever get any video games or consoles as presents for Christmas? 
So it was it. We got the Atari and the Nintendo. After that, we had to trap gophers to earn enough money to help buy the Sega Genesis. So over a hundred gophers had to give their lives so we can play Sonic the Hedgehog. Think of the irony in that. It would have been even more ironic if we had to kill hedgehog hedgehogs. Excuse me. Uh, anyways, nice. I'm doing pretty well. Ooh, look at all those presents. All the happy little boys and girls in the world. Again, a little quick fun bike game. Come on, get out of the way. Oof, to go with my little shot of alcohol. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, I'll end the video there. So yeah, so there was today's advent calendar. Comment below with, you know, favor whatever uh, the question I asked, which I think I asked three or four times. Otherwise, there was today's video. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Also, Merry Christmas, Whittlebur. <laughs> yeah, it did sound a bit like, uh, uh, I forgot the name of the talking horse. Mr. Ed. There we go. I had I actually in my, that pause there was me actually singing the theme song in my head. <laughs> Except for Mr. Ed. There we go.